Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Or, hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Well, let's do the right thing. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today I am going to test the new Osmo Pocket against GoPro's Hero 7 here. I actually performed a similar test before, but uh, most of you online did not find them as scientific because I was holding them in both separate units, whereas here you can see the contraption. Here we have the Osmo Mobile, here we have the GoPro Hero 7, and I will perform some tests in... Okay, so let's not wait more, jump on the street and start testing these two babies in real life. Yes, 4K30. 4K30 field of view is only wide and super view are available that I don't like so we're gonna stay at wide but I wish there was actually the linear option Pro tune is off everything is in auto video settings are rather simple and here on DJI Osmo Pocket everything is also on auto now jump in to GoPro and DJI Osmo Pocket footage okay 4k 30 frames per second um, Osmo Pocket is in follow mode, so it will really smooth in the image, whereas FPV mode might have been a better idea, but I think people will take advantage of the follow me mode, or follow mode, that's why I'm going to keep it there, and that's like the advantage of having actually a gimbal present. Look, this is the problem with the wide mode, like look how distorted it is, whereas here I can clearly see that it's flat. And as it should be, basically. Oh, here it's even worse. Look. <laughs> okay, let me manually try to get this guy a bit. Yeah. Yep, this is the difference. But of course, the field of view options are radically different. And again, the follow mode of the Osmo Pocket is taking it easy. And we are lucky. Now there's actually a... East River Ferry coming. So I'm just gonna walk towards the East River Ferry and take a couple of footage there. Um, so let's test the audio video. Um, there will be some use cases. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because initially I made some not that good videos, but I'm improving. I'm putting the time and effort so there will be fantastic videos on this channel. Do not forget to subscribe. 4K 30 frames per second. Um, I'm walking, I can see that they are both super stable, so it will be difficult to call the shots when it comes to who's the smoothest, but of course, the advantage of gimbal is showing itself. And again, at 4K 30 frames per second, that weird distortion is bugging me, whereas on Osmo Pocket, we don't have such thing, and we have a narrower field of view. I mean, it could be a taste issue. Look, I mean, I can frame it similarly if I move a little. Yeah, I mean, please do not forget that Osmo is a demo unit. It's even pre-release unit, so let's ex we can easily expect them to fix some of the issues with the original one, but here is a test and people are walking. We can actually get some of the stuff or some of the footage better since we are closer to the action with field of view choice of Osmo Pocket. Um, let's walk towards the ferry and see what it looks like on this side. Of course, again, the gimbal takes it easy, whereas GoPro smoothens it using hyper smooth stabilization, but that's pretty much it it there is no gimbal on gopro and here this footage with gopro and here almost same frame with dji osmo pocket let me try it again here we have the screen and you see how distorted it is thanks to this wide angle whereas here we have the screen it's not distorted but it looks of course a bit smaller and now I'm gonna get some 1080p footage from GoPro and of course it will be up to 4k 30 frames second here so 
GoPro 1080 30 frames per second recording, whereas Osmo keeps recording at 4K 30 frames per second. GoPro, and of course, the whole point is to get the linear view, and I just did, so linear starts now, yes. And now, Osmo rotates. Boom. All right, 1080p on GoPro, 4K 30 on <laughs> Osmo, and we're rolling. As you see, if we had the linear mode in 4K, 30 frames per second, GoPro would be a contender, but let's see and please tell me about how you see things in the comment section below. Is Upres 1080, 30 frames per second can keep up with the 4K, 30 frames per second of Osmo Pocket? I know it is definitely a longer test than I intended it to be, but yeah. This is what it looks like. Let me reveal this car real quick. Yeah, or let's go for a reveal shot. Of course, the follow mode will make this one look better. Okay. Okay, here is another angle. GoPro is recording and Osmo Pocket is recording. Um, as you know, Osmo Pocket can do the active track and here's what's going on. I can move this far. I think GoPro is still catching me. Yeah, or I think the other way is more radical. Now I'll be totally out of frame and I'll still be filmed. Should I still continue? Whoa. Really? More? Well, I am nowhere near GoPro. Seriously? I think this is the end. Yes. <laughs> this is amazing. Keeps filming me. What's the limit on this side? Good? Yeah, very good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, since Osmo Pocket is a new device, there are no ND filters for Osmo Pocket yet. But, I'm just opening something that I believe Freewell sent me and yes here it is Freewell actually sent me let's see what do we have here yep what I wanted Freewell sent me these okay so these are ND filters for Mavic Air and since um, DJI Osmo Pocket has a similar camera. I'm gonna test if these ND filters will work on it on other video. So once again, thank you Freewell for sending me the goodies and I will definitely review them on my Mavic Air. So I am continuing because there is a really nice, you don't see where I'm pointing. Well, the advantage of Osmo Pocket is I can actually rotate. So now you see where I'm pointing at. Let's cross the street. And there are actually some real nice graffitis over there. I'm just gonna go there and compare, well, compare the cameras using some nice graffiti art. Okay, here we go. GoPro Hero 7 Black recording at 4K 30 frames per second. Same resolution, 4K 30 on Osmo Pocket. Here we go. How are the colors? What I see on small screens is definitely GoPro more vivid. Let's do a quick reveal shot. Okay, so both cameras are at 4K 30 frames per second, and now I'm going into this garage for the low light performance test. How are we doing so far? Yeah. 
I can see GoPro just messing things up, but even already on the small screen, it's quite obvious. We have a couple of bikes here. Just gonna approach. So this is the low light performance. GoPro 